Hello, my name is Sakshat n a n v i s h e n c h a i and and this is my sister, uh, Natapon n a n v i s h e n c h a i I am I am 11 y e a r old, and my sister is 8 y e a r old. We are in the Bangkok, Thailand. Thailand is is what happening about about the water. It full. Uh, the water is very much. Is gone to my home, and them and them will will we will, will destroy anything in my house and your house. Maybe we will help 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 my mother. And my my aunt to uh <laughs> to 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 take the water into the river. The shelves of our local 7-Eleven are almost empty today. Quan spotted a carton of tangerine juice, too good to resist. Small bottle of water has returned to the fridge for the moment. Locals with Pickup trucks and lorries m o b i l i z e themselves to help residents get to and from work through the flooded streets. A volunteer pulled this elderly man and his granddaughter in a fiberglass boat by hand to the main road of p e g a s a m e Our neighbours, seeing the floodwaters rise around them, are making sandbags and raising lorries and cars where they can, even wrapping them in giant plastic bags. This one cost the owner a hundred dollars. It seems today many residents of Muban s e t i k i t didn't really think the flood would affect them, being that this area is on slightly higher ground than many other areas of Bangkok. The floods in recent days have taken many of them by surprise, and they are now trying to keep out water at this late hour as best they can. Scooters mostly did well as a means of transporting flood water. Occasionally, one would break down and have to be pushed. As a precautionary measure, some scooters hitched a ride on a pickup to the dry road of p e g a s a m e and on to work. One of our neighbours lives by a small canal. The house is flooded today, and they're lifting as much as they can above the level of the rising flood water. Some residents have decided to leave their flooded homes and are taking with them what they think they'll need and can carry. Some litter bins now are above water level. And those that care for dogs continue to do so. After a hard day's work, Muban s e t i k i t residents return through flooded streets to their flooded homes, exhausted but offering a smile to a stranger in the land as they went past. Today was yet another day when ties pull together instinctively, helping each other in any and every way they could. Some feeling tired and reflective, some anxious. Others taking it all in their stride, doing whatever it takes to get through the working day, and again tomorrow, and the next day, and so on. 